let's talk about you know the fact that we we saw Joffrey Lupul post what he posted, um, and you know everybody knows the story, so I don't sure. think I really need yeah. to introduce it. What is your thought, Carly? You're an athlete. You're a sportscaster. You've seen it. What did you? What was your initial reaction, and has that changed having heard the story and thought about it for 24 hours? My initial reaction, I think, is still the same thing that I'm thinking now, which is. I don't begrudge you the opportunity to play this game. I, I, you're an athlete. You have every right to fight for your spot. But then my point is, is put your money where your mouth is. Go get your second opinion. Mm-hmm. And I think, unfortunately, there's a lot that we don't know, right? When anything like this happens, we don't know what Joffrey's history and communications are with the Leafs organization and how this whole, rumors, right? yeah, and how this whole situation came to be in the first place, where he feels so frustrated and so hostile that this is the way that he chooses to respond. And then, you know, maybe it was a moment of weakness because obviously he since deleted this comment comment in this post but i was wondering if he was drinking not all of them well and, 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 and like because we all post dumb stuff when we're drunk we, everyone has made mistakes we've all said things and done things before that we wish that we could take back right mm-hmm. for sure I'm able to hide my phone on my birthday <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you know it was great because kipper and elliot got into it last night and good tv great Ooh. tv was, but then funny. on go get your second opinion this is what you have a CBA for. This is what you have a players association for. And I'm not going to sit here and begrudge you the opportunity to play the game that you s- insist that you're still passionate about. What I do have, a, what I think also people have somewhat of a problem with is when you use a word like cheat and you're in line to take home five plus million dollars for essentially doing nothing, the sympathy card is one I'm not sure that you still have in your hand. And it's not really one that I really want to see on the table from you. So, you know, I've never been in that situation before. He's had a tough career, right? And even considering with what he's been through, he still managed to have some productive... He was great when he was playing in Toronto. Yeah, it is. Remember the All-Star game? Yeah. uh, He was brilliant. Repping the Leaf, pulling on his jersey. That was in Ottawa, too, I think. Yep. And so I don't begrudge him the opportunity to get back out on the ice. My point is, is you can't be you can't be hypocritical. You can't accuse them of cheating and then not attempt to prove them wrong. Don't pretend like you don't know what the deal is, Joffrey. You know what I mean? Like, is it shady? Sure. You you know what ticked me off a little bit? Well, actually, two things. But it was fans getting high and mighty about the cheating comment. And I'm like, okay, there are there's a very tiny group of fans. I'm trying to think of the teams in the NHL that haven't blatantly cheated in the cap era. The Coyotes paid a ghost last year. <laughs> yeah. Pavel Datsuk had a seven point five million but that's dollar cap a, and was that's paid not a cheat. zero, zero dollars. dollars. Yeah. Get out of my face. Yeah. Like, um the Red Wings. Zetterberg admitted that his obviously bullshit contract is obviously bullshit. And it's, it's and and the Jersey and the Devils got their picks back, even though they they signed uh, Kovalchuk to an illegal contract. Oh, they did. Remember, get yeah, they they got some of oh, those yeah. back when he when he retired. Oh, yeah, was it the second round? Ra- yeah, they got something back. Uh, it was like a fourth, whatever. Or a first. Yeah. yeah, they got something back. Okay. I mean, and that was our general manager now that like, did it. Life then, is but, not fair, right? Yeah. You know, you're in a you're in a business. Life is not fair, but as something rarely is there an actual simple solution, mm-hmm. right? Where it's black and white. Mm-hmm. You are entitled to a second opinion. Are you going to go get one or are you not going to go get one? And then yeah. we still don't have an answer. And with all due respect to Joffrey Loophole, but if you can make a comment about that on Instagram, why don't you then, you know, to Kipper's point, well, show that you're working out on your Instagram. Not snowboarding. <laughs> oh, or party, God, or partying in Italy. I know. Like, and, I know. And, and, and you know what? I don't begrudge him partying in Italy and snowboarding. I don't partying in Italy. That's what a, that's what a guy that's recovering great. from an injury should do. Live it up. Just chill on a, yeah. on a I'm, yacht in Ibiza. L- please like, live your life, but just don't expect, uh, you know, everyone to side with you when you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to make your five million for doing nothing or do you want to make your five million and get back in the game? Because if you're serious about getting back on the ice, show us that you're serious and you want to get back on the ice. And I'm 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 sure, you know, if he really did add value, the Leafs would want him there. I think they understand for some reason. Now the other thing I, I thought, and it was brought up on Twitter, and forgive me, I forget who brought this up, but I thought it was really interesting. And they said this. Being being NHL ready to play um is a lot different than being healthy. Oh, Do you know yeah. what I mean? So, like, you know, play, <laughs> players play through gruesome, gruesome injuries, sure. right, all mm-hmm. the time. And you look at Clark MacArthur in Ottawa. So it's interesting that Toronto and Ottawa faced off because truly that's another situation where oh, geez, it seems like, yeah. you know, Clark, 
what did play last year was a four games, and I think they're worried about four well, regular season. Nineteen regulars. Uh, it was a nineteen regular. Still can't believe yeah, he four, played as four much regular. as he did after that. Yeah. But they, they are. I would imagine that they're going. Listen, Clark. If you get another, if you get another concussion, you're in. Like we can't, we can't approve this because you're you have a huge issue. And we know yeah. Joffrey Lupro had some sort of degenerative back disorder for sure. He didn't have back problems. He, he got back surgery and then he, he the got blood, blood poisoning, yeah, yeah, which was uh, that had him out for a year. And so he had arm wrist got problems by, uh, by a puck. enough slap shot, yeah. just freak incident. And then recently it was the hernia surgery, right? Right. So that's th- right. So yeah. maybe there is something that we don't know about because it's not like the Leafs are forward with their in- injuries anyway. Yeah. That and regarding MacArthur, I was freaking out about that too. By the way, but I don't think it was his concussions. Okay. Oh, really? I. I, I th- I think I read that it was his back. I might be wrong. Oh. Okay. Might be wrong. See, it's funny how we can assume so quickly eh, that that's what it is. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. But even so, even then, yeah. like after the concussion. Oh, it, gosh. I still can't believe he came back and played as much as he did and how quickly he You know did. what I can't believe is the guy that decked him last year decked another guy in training camp a couple days ago oh, in the same that. organization. No way. Uh, oh, oh so I missed that. He's so lucky the Sens don't have an affiliate in Madagascar. Like, I, 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 why, I why do you have him? him the I don't invite him that. to camp. Yeah. Like, you don't. That, see, that's irresponsible. If there's a guy that does that to my NHL regular, you're gone. Bye. You, see ya. You ever seen the Don Cherry documentary? When he, when he gets invited to Leafs training camp? Oh, it's oh best. I've only seen bits and pieces of this. I've never seen the full thing, so... I've only seen the full first part, and I saw clips okay. of the second part. Um, the He gets invited to Leafs training camp. They take his picture and everything, and I think he nails Red Kelly. Hmm. And the quote was... I don't remember who said it. It was the coach or something. You know, get that $5 off... Uh, get that $5 player off the ice before he ruins my million-dollar player. And that was the end of Don Cherry's hopes of ever playing ever for the playing. Toronto Maple <laughs> right. But it's true. Like, yeah. Take him away. Training camp. Yeah. And you're a goon. He's a goon. Take He's a- not going to make the team. He's yeah, probably not even going to make Binghamton. No. Oh, I don't know. Play, I Are they Binghamton anymore? Bingo no, they're Hamilton now. Uh, getting back Hamilton? to Limple, though. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I like what you said. I can appreciate that, like, you know, he's a competitive guy who had a moment of weakness, right? Someone told him, like, oh, you failed your physical. So he probably reacted. He has pride, and he's mm-hmm. like, "Bullshit! I failed my physical. Like, look at me. I'm Joffrey Lupa. You see me snowboarding? I'm amazing. <laughs> look at my model photos, bro. I'm yeah. cut. <laughs> the, the guy that I was, uh, uh, bro. I'm cut. Um, yeah. And someone sent me a picture of him like not being in playing shape. I'm like, a, I don't think he's flexing in this picture. B, he's on a boat in Ibiza. I'll yeah. take whatever shape he's in. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. trade any day. <laughs> um, the guy I was, uh, well, another guy I was disappointed in. Nazem Kadri. Yeah. Did he, did he like the photo? Was that what happened? He liked no, the so photo and he liked a comment, but it wasn't. Comments. He liked he both liked comments? Both. I have a screenshot of one of them. I didn't get it of the bad one. Are you he, sure? Yes. You're confirmed on that. Be sure. I don't have physical proof, so I okay. guess 99%. But okay. I saw the thing. All I right. saw the thing. Because that's. Naz, use your head. Like I get, we we've uh, he's had his opportunity to learn from his mistakes too. Oh my god! So on the file of you should know better, I feel like his like he's right there. He yeah. should absolutely know better. Yeah. yeah, we we we've defended Kadri a thousand Can't times. Can't defend that. No, we've, we've talked about it on the show. It's a miracle he's still a Toronto Maple Leaf. And I he was drafted in two thousand nine. Wow. How is he still? on This, this is team? the one thing I dislike the most about what. I do and how this whole industry works that it's 2017 and we have to talk about these things that you oh you like to comment which makes you a it's a, public support but it it's unfortunately it's so real you can't get rid of it now we're already down this rabbit hole right yeah. it's here it's real and there are consequences when you do these things it is support so, of a comment that said the public. team you a public comment he knew what that he was the doing. team you play for and make 4.5 million dollars to play for cheats and, and it's on your back- praise yeah, it. and this you goes moron. back to my point about it's a privilege. It's not a yeah. right. Hmm. And I know it kind of sounds like cheesy and sort of, you know, altruistic or whatever, but 
these are the things that like you are bigger than you when you pull that sweater on and you hear people say it you are representing something that is bigger than yourself whether you like it or not Mm -hmm. and you you know you're you you've lost your chances you've run out of your excuses for your behavior and i'm young and i need to learn and i'm sorry enough already be a professional if you want people to treat you with respect and you want to be taken seriously act like it and Mm -hmm. i don't that is not okay if he was ever gonna wear an a i think he lost his shot this year yeah oh kadri yeah well, I, mean, I think that's last year. I, you know, it's saying Lupul looks like he's in great playing shape. And okay, yeah, so, like if Lupul does come back, and the Leafs get his full cap hit, and they need to shed some cap, like want to play for Vegas, want to mm-hmm. play for the Devils, we can make that happen, <laughs> man. Like, like I'm sure, dude, I'm sure I there love, was an internal conversation after that. Don't I wonder, you think? I, love I mean, I don't I love him, but I don't know. I don't know enough about how much. Um, organizations want things like that to reach that level because then maybe when you do escalate it then you almost give it too much Uh, you make it you turn it into a thing whereas if you leave it alone maybe it'll just kind of figure itself yeah. out I don't know how much they want to get you know do you really want to be sitting in front of Mike Babcock and having him be like so uh, did you uh, like what is it like this, <laughs> well, is this I don't this, have a uh, is this Igram no. like you know what I mean yeah, so but they got that, they got like they have a social media person for they the players, have, I think four PR people, and wow. I'm sure they were all over that. And one of the PR guys is like specifically dedicated, partially to social media. Mm-hmm. So you have an actual social media coordinator. You have a PR guy who's kind of in charge of looking after that stuff, and then you got three other guys. And this is where I get frustrated and, when people say out. they use that expression. Oh, the media makes such a big deal of things. Well. <laughs> These are things, though, unfortunately, that become issues. Yeah, and so... you can't. I'm sorry, but I, anybody that tries to diminish, again, your your what you do on social media has to be considered a public form, as if you're yelling it out loud. When you when you like a comment like that, it is throwing your public support. Yeah. Behind somebody. Mm-hmm. And especially if you want to have an Instagram account with a million followers and you want to make money off that and you want to do that stuff like he does, great. But understand that there comes with, there's responsibility with that. And that's I was really, really disappointed to see that. And I so it's funny because I just signed I just signed this con my uh, uh, contract with Rogers, for example. My contracts are twenty five pages long. I have social media conduct policy that I agree to and am held accountable to. Sure. So if you I just think you can't have one without the other anymore, you know? Yeah, do we do I think it's ridiculous that we have to sit around a table and talk about something that happened on Instagram? But the reality is, to your point, we do. Mm-hmm. It, we're we at do. that level. It means something. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so the big deal was Joffrey posts this, then puts two comments. Mm-hmm. One is, I'm ready, I'm just waiting for the call. The other is, they cheat and everyone yeah. lets them. So, again, 99% sure Kadri liked that photo. So the photo is still up. Kadri has still liked it. And then I click on the one comment that Lupul did leave up, which is the I'm ready, just awaiting the call. 353 likes. Among them, Nazem Kadri, still. And that's fine. If he says, see, okay. I'm waiting for the call. <laughs> I guess, okay. It doesn't take a brain surgeon, man. Like, Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, and it, uh, also interesting, Jared Cowan liked the Instagram post as well. And I, oh, think I, I, I think I saw Frank Corrado did too. Yeah, uh, I think I saw Frank Corrado. Frank- yeah, did. but what Frank Corrado was called on, he didn't play well. So I'm sorry. I, I, I think they made the right Should choice. Shouldn't. Should. Should. How come? Because he's basically Joffrey Lupul. <laughs> <laughs> but there I is a deadline. <laughs> there is I'm a like, deadline, yeah. though, right? Like, we're going to have an end point in this. Because doesn't he have, I'm not sure, but I thought hours? Kipper said by Thursday, Thursday? at some point oh. in time. Five. Thursday at 5. Okay, so he's got a, which is to present the second opinion, just so I'm clear. We shall see. Um, I don't know. Or to file to it get has the to second file. opinion. to file to it get the second filed. opinion. He's, he's got until 5 on Thursday to do something. I just think at the when all of this is said and done, I do think actions will speak louder than words or likes or any yeah. of this. Now, if you're him, are you thinking, shit, now i got to go through with this? Because I better. No. I'm not sure. I don't know what, I don't know what his, um, you know, we don't know all the details surrounding his, you know, sort of time on this Robida Island, I guess they yeah. call it, whatever. I don't know what the details of him, you know, surrounding this whole situation are. I think it, I think there's a lot more going on than, you know, is necessarily, you know, common knowledge. So I don't know, but I think it just come, I try to keep things simple. Do you want to try to play again or not? Mm-hmm. Do you want to be back on the ice? If you do, then please go get the second opinion. Okay. And if not, if not, then... 
Maybe you just need to go sail away into the quietly. sunset. And you know what? You he could have done nothing wrong with that. Could have done what Stefan Robida did. Stefan Robida said, "Okay, fine. I'm gonna. I want to be an associate coach. I want to be a part of the organization. And look at what he's done. Now he's employed by the Leafs, right. even though his contract's expired. Yeah, a bit of an older guy." Wife, kids, different point in his life. Like made less money. The difference that like five years yeah. or six years. But see, yeah. that's it's also true. how like you know be care. You know how the things that you do when you're young directly impact what you are able to do. It's just like any industry, right? I don't care if you're in hockey or if you're in broadcasting. If I'm horrible to someone three years ago, that might come to bite me five it years. Might be down your the boss line. one day, and, right? And to, to your point, though, I think Robida's. On ice services were not necessarily welcome anymore, but his off ice services were. Yes. Okay, fair. I don't think sure. the same opportunity is available to Joffrey Lupul. I don't think it's wanted. Hmm. And that again go- comes down to his. If that is the case, that's his character versus Stefan Robidoux's character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But now, now we're attacking Joffrey Lupul, which with we're not attacking reasons, him. No, no, no. With the, we're criticizing him a little bit, but then there's still the wait. Is what the Leafs doing? Uh, is that shady? Sure. Or are there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I'm not going to. I mean, it. so for sure. Where the when the New England Patriots were videotaping other teams' practices, <laughs> was that shady? Yes. Totally. How many championships do they have? Yeah, but it's bullshit. <laughs> like when Tom Brady deflated a football and had people deflate footballs. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. If anybody messed with a puck, a yeah. basketball, anything else, and a star player was implicated, imagine that was LeBron. Yeah. You can't imagine take that's away LeBron. a Super Bowl. You can't take away an NBA yeah. championship. You can take John Jones's title away. But as yes, long as people are going to be playing sports, there's going to be ways to try to circumvent the rules, right? Yeah. So, you know... We just had the Apple Watch issue, right? Like with the Red Sox. Oh my and God, baseball. that's the best so, story. <laughs> you know, as long I can't as these... that's the first we've heard of a story uh, like that. Oh, uh, yeah. So, but you know, as long as we're going to be, these things are going to be, these games are going to be played. People are going to try to figure out ways to circumvent and get around things. And the Apple Watch things. <laughs> what gets me about the Apple Watch thing is how do you know? Like, how do you get caught? How how blatant does it have to be? And like, dumb. like, well, how did what do they intercept a text? Like, what do they do? How do they actually <laughs> find that out? No. no one seemed to be able to answer that. The man in white intercepted. Uh, yeah. A text. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Thing? Oh, oh gosh. My God. And it's yeah. 